Hey YouTube, this is Jeremy Norman. I uh, used to be 803. Um, just wanted to start things off with some obesity talk. Uh, I haven't been on in a while, had some personal problems, um, been really sick and everything. The wife's been sick, so um, I'm back now and I hope to do a lot of different things on here. Some goofy stuff I posted before, better stuff than that. I hope I can sing better later on when I get better. But for now, I just want to talk about some stuff with obesity. Later on, I'll be talking about faith and my life and all that. But right now, let's just talk about obesity. I've noticed um, since I came online and since I've started putting videos on that I've gotten some videos and some uh, responses from people that um, they want to know if I just got fat from eating a lot and got the surgery because I didn't have the willpower and and everything and it just tells me you know that there's a lot of people out there that don't understand what's going on um, there's a lot of people out there who just think that because uh, you see people on Mori Povich who put themselves down and don't wear a shirt and go out there and look like idiots on TV that we're all like that and we're not okay some of those people go in there and do that because they need surgery paid for they need help and they have to make a mockery of themselves because I guess that's what Maury likes or whatever show they go on, Jerry Springer or something like that. And it's ridiculous. I hate watching those shows and then people say how great they were and then you see that and all they show in the background is tables of food and stuff piled high like that's our normal dinners. Okay, that's ridiculous. I mean, some people on TV you might see it have a big appetite, but not everybody's like that. And BC is not always... Um, you know, caused by stuff like that. You know, a lot of stuff, you know, a lot of times people eat a lot because it's emotional food. Because they're made fun of or mocked every day. And you, know, you get turned down from people and treated like you're garbage just because you're a little chubbier. You know, not everybody's a stick. Not everybody can walk around and be real skinny and, you know, look like they you know, can walk on a road, you know, the runway with their bones popped out and stuff. And that's not perfect. Everybody's different. Okay, everybody's different, and I'm really upset that there's videos online now that there's people shaking their stomachs and their fat and they're jiggling their um, their breasts and everything for, for people's amusement, like it's a freak show. And I think it's funny. I think it's cool that some guy gets fatter and everything. You people make me sick that you're doing this. This obesity thing is a really serious issue, and it's killing people. It is the number one killer now. There's children who are going to die or who have already died from obesity. There are people who have died, loved ones you might know, could be dying from something from obesity, heart attack, um, blood clot, anything. It's ridiculous that people find it amusing. It's not something to laugh about. Now, um, I'm going to bchelp.com and point out a couple of facts about uh, obesity to say you can uh, know there's more than just oh, no, 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 no food. Um, one of the main things is, you know, obesity is a genetic factor, too. A lot of times it can be. A lot of times uh, if your mom and dad or uh, someone in your family is fat and stuff, you can be fat, too. It can be just big. You know, it's just in your blood. Sometimes you just can't help it. It's just something in your genes, and you really can't help it. People are big the rest of their lives. It's how you live your life, if you're going to be healthy or not. Keep yourself healthy, you know, no matter how big or small you are. You know, that's what makes a difference. Sometimes it's environmental or social factors. If you work somewhere and for a break all they have out is a big box of donuts every day, what do you think is going to happen? If you're going to eat those donuts, sometimes you don't have time to run out and get something like a salad or bring food like that every day because it's so expensive. People have time to you know, get a bag of chips and a pop real quick. That's bad stuff for you. I mean, a pop's one of the worst things to drink. But it's there. It's there. It's what, that's what's there. They put more machines in businesses now to make money off of people and make them fatter. It's a big thing. And then you get social factors. People making fun of you. People staring. You can't walk down the street overweight without a few people staring and making a mockery out of you. They don't laugh or they, don't, they still stare and think of stuff about you. I've been made fun of many times. Even had times where I'd walk past a restaurant and have children in a school bus make fun of me thinking I'm going to that restaurant to eat. It's, it's wrong, and it's just that people don't teach their children how to respect others. People don't respect themselves. People don't, you know, go out and respect people like they want to be treated. 
There's no wonder there's so much hate and stuff going around. I mean, it's just people do not care. And it needs to be addressed because this is obesity and people who are getting turned on to is getting almost as bad as racism. Discrimination is terrible. You can't get jobs because you're fat. You can't do things because you're fat. You get judged because you're fat. First thing you go to a job. If you go to a job, you work in an office, and you see a fat person and a skinny person. Who are you going to hire first if you're the boss? You're going to hire a skinny person. Because why? Because a skinny person is more energetic. They take care of their own. They're probably not lazy. A fat person probably eats a lot, is lazy, would show up late for work, and all that stuff. That's not true. We're all different. You know, that, that skinny person probably is just as lazy as the fat person. And uh, that, can, that can happen. I know a lot of people like that. Some people just waste their lives away and they can be thin as a stick. Okay. Another thing that causes obesity can be illnesses. I have Froelich syndrome. Froelich syndrome is a super low testosterone. I did not find it out until I was about 16 years old. It was something I had from a medicine when I was a baby and had seizures. It messed up my system. It can mess up your thyroid, everything. People can have hyperthyroidism, Cushing syndrome. Lack of sleep can cause it. Drugs with steroids like and like antidepressants or medications for seizures like I had, those can cause it. And even ladies can have polycystic ovary syndrome, which is high levels of androgen, which is a male hormone, and and the mis menstrual cycle. It can cause obesity. It's not just sitting there gorging down a Big Mac. Um, this is getting bad and people. I have to start taking it seriously or it's going gonna, it's gonna to get way worse and children are going to get fatter and sicker and these, you know, if you have a friend, if you have a child, if you have somebody you know that has ob is obese, if has an obesity problem, help them. Be their friend. Be their support. Be their support. Don't, don't judge them. Would God have judged you? What if you were the person that was being made fun of? What if you were not the norm and then fat people were? What would that be like? If you had to feel like you're a piece of dirt every time you walked outside and saw people stare at you. Think about it. Think about if if, if a person who was not overweight was not the norm and that we were the norm. Something different, huh? So I'm going to leave off with this. If you have anybody you know, please. God didn't make mistakes, but things happen, okay? And it makes us special. We're different. Some people are big, tall, skinny, fat. You know, it's just everything. We're just all different. We need to love each other. And you need to spread love, and you need to show a person that you're there for them and care for them. You have a child that's, that's not losing weight, and you got to be there for them. That's just a major, major thing. And, uh... I'm going to get off now that phone ringing, but God bless you all. Be there for one another. And if you want any questions, then they email me. Used to be 803 at yahoo.com. I love you all. God bless. And please, please think about it. And don't judge others.